Listener discretion is advised. This podcast contains explicit material that may not be suitable for some individuals. The views and opinions expressed by the hosts in this podcast are for entertainment purposes only and do not reflect or represent the views and opinions of the actual people, companies, or any organization. This podcast may not be reproduced, edited, copied without the expressed written permission from the hosts. You have been warned. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of NBKIA yeah! Podcast. Yeah! This is episode 10, VHS Special. And tonight, we are watching the return of the living dead. Rated, Rated R, R, 1985. We have a couple of shout-outs. Ryan, <laughs> would you like to do that? By the way, my name is Simon. I'm Ryan! I'm John! And today, we have a couple of shout-outs to our we just, loyal fans. Yeah, we just want to give a big thanks to Chrissy, Colin, Nick, Anthony, Matt, Tim, Melanie, Meatloaf, and Rob. We just want to thank anybody who might be listening, even though we don't know your name. Make sure to subscribe, like, click whatever you have to fucking click. And hit that notification bell. Bell! Amen. Woo! Alright, guys. And Orion, pictures release. Look at that quality right there. I know, I like it. That's my favorite constellation. It's a little blurry. Is there tracking on this? What do you mean, tracking? Yeah, you know, uh, it adjusts it so that it like it, it might remove that line that's going through the center of the. Well, sorry. It says two buttons in the middle. One remove points up. Line. One points down. Remove that line. So you can track it up. You can track it down. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Absolutely. You didn't know that. You collect VHS tapes, Simon. Yeah, but I enjoyed the uh, retro field. Oh, okay. <laughs> If it's a little fuzzy at the top oh, shit, or the bottom, go. yeah, Holy you've cow. seen. Oh yeah. my god, amazing! Yeah, I didn't know that. this is what's different between growing up with a VCR and wanting one because it's at Goodwill. Hey, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> I grew up in a house of six. We had a VHS player when I was mm. a kid. I grew up in a house of sex. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you have eight kids. Oh, <laughs> and your yeah. mom's a whore. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Mother's Day, ladies. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Even though this is going to be like, like three weeks from now. Oh, <laughs> fuck me. So, uh, tomorrow actually is Mother's Day. Yep. Good day to be alive. All you mamas out there. Thanks Happy for, Mother's Day. Thanks we, for pushing oh yeah. out that baby. Yeah, I mean, we literally oh yeah. wouldn't have anyone on earth no. wouldn't be there without their mother. And God. And <laughs> good Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hey. Woo! Woo! I'll put that VCR hits. one more time. Yeah, you want to hear that VHS up. sound one more time? That's Ooh, dang. <laughs> when you want to hit eject, but you hit rewind. You know, I like that. Tra- I like that thing about the tracking. Uh, yeah. You know, and it's under the channel buttons. Yeah, it's not, it's not. It doesn't even look like a. Yeah, so far everybody's hitting like high yellow. Yeah, yeah. we're in the yellow, baby. Woo! At Let least me... it's consistent, you know. Yeah. Right. Um, Means we're doing good. We're doing good. We're getting better. The so, return of the living dead. Yeah, so this guy, he's got a new job, right? And he's being trained. It's his first day. Mm-hmm. What's he being trained in? Um, I believe, like, they they pretty much handle, like, uh, skeletons for colleges. And, <laughs> you like, you need a medical supply company. Oh, there you go. Mm. So you know medical why? Supplies, we got medical supplies. We got so weird shit. syringes. <laughs> so it's like the skeleton that is in the... Um, Whatever you want to call it, classes where they like have the entire human body. It's not like actual cadaver. Anatomy, cadaver. Yeah, anatomy. 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 Cadaver. That's a the name of a band. Anatomy. Anatomy class. In, back in college, I was in a band called Cadaver. <laughs> Abracadabra. That Abra. shitty Steve mm-hmm. uh, Miller band song. Steven Seagal. I Steven like Seagal. Oh, like he's another movie, good, man. great musician. I'm lying. Oh. I never went to college. Real I cop. Didn't what? Hey, Hello. Speaking of college, my sister graduated today from yes! college. Yes. Oh, wow. Congratulations, Teresa. Wow. Mm. 
Mm. No, that's a ser- that is bam, a serious. Bam, bam. That's a serious accomplishment. Way, that's a serious accomplishment. <laughs> that's a serious accomplishment for anybody who's actually oh, yeah. done it. I think they deserve all the all the credit in the world. John, I remember going to. John had a uh, a surprise college graduation party that I showed up. Oh for. yeah, that really yeah, was a surprise time. too. I, I had was some like, Jameson. What the fuck is going on? That was a fun day. So, do you have you ever had a job where you re- still remember the person that trained you and that you worked with initially? Yeah. Starting that job because they were like pretty cool when they trained you, or you like okay, yeah. connected with them. Oh, I've absolutely. had a couple yeah. jobs like that. You're where, like, like instantly friends? Oh, yeah, totally. They're like, let me show you the ropes, kid. Mm-hmm. That's how me and John got to be friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At Menards. Menards. Right, where they literally sell rope. Yep. Yeah. And nerds. <laughs> uh, I remember I used to get the, uh, you know, the cash, the cat. what do they call that? The rebates? Cash five. I used to get the rebates for literally nards. Oh, wow. Right? Hmm. 70%. They give you that for paper cent. bag, and it's like get five percent off if you can everything you can put in this it's bag. It's actually eleven. Oh, okay. eleven! Yeah, 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 yeah. Eleven yeah, 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 percent yeah. off rebate on everything. Look at this awesome group of punks. Yeah, eighty. God, I love that. Really can't get enough of that. No, yeah, it, it really has a unique look. Yeah, you get mohawks and uh, anatomy magazines, and like a little wiener dog with right. an elk in the bag. It's called a dachshund. <laughs> I was bit by a dachshund. What? And yeah. I hate wiener dogs ever since. <laughs> that fucker. Okay, so I went to um, my step, like, sister's cousin, uh-huh. and we were, like, hanging out, and somebody turned the lights out, and when they hit the lights, my stepsister and her cousin screamed, and so when they turned the lights back on in the room just messing with us, the dog looked and focused in on me as I was like a threat to them and ran up and just bit right like near my nutsack, mm-hmm. but my thigh. Mm-hmm. It was literally like hanging on there, and I was like trying to like Elvis fucking pelvic thrust his fucking dog off in a panic. And they were like, oh, the dog doesn't normally do that. Like, he's, I don't know why he would. I was like, your dog just fucking bit me, and now you want me to sit down and watch Terminator 2? Like, fuck, two and a half hour movie with, like, a dog bite? Well, yeah, speaking of uh, Elvis, didn't you know that he, he called himself Elvis Presley because if you take the P and put it ahead of Elvis, it stands for pelvis, which he was known for shaking his pelvis. Right. Mm, wow. Yeah. I never made that connection before. I don't know if that's actually true, though. I was bit by a fucking dog. Oh, nice. Good job. John has a Congrats. lot of John has a lot of dog stories. I got yeah, a dog yeah. story. You guys oh, want to hear okay. a dog story? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's what? not particularly entertaining. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah, this then is the perfect. You ever see Cujo? <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, my sister was it. My sister was attacked by a couple of Rottweilers, Holy and I used fuck. to not have this fear of dogs, but now I have this like. Completely irrational fear of dogs, big dogs. Right. Anything that could like, if anything that could fit part of your body in its mouth, you know what I mean? Okay. I mean, I think that's a normal fear. Oh, fear, okay. Right? That's just like a regular you're, normal well, fear. Well, you're being, you're afraid of being eaten. Right. We typically eat everything. Would you? <laughs> Not put- my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Just uh, you had no girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> I just st- st- uh, sit in a closet all night alone. Um, oh, okay. So that's why I'll hear those noises from the closet. Yeah. yeah why are you in my like house? Sobbing in the closet. <laughs> why are you coming in my house? When He's I trying cry? to take your VHS tape. <laughs> okay, back to the dog. So I'm not the only one here that collects VHS tapes. I have a bigger collection. I mean, I'm the collector. Honestly, You're the entrepreneur. Oh, oh okay. Or, no. The rookie. Yeah, the novice. No, I'm the entrepreneur. I'm the entrepreneur. You're the newbie. You're the guy. You're that the rookie. I'm in. the entrepreneur. <laughs> You're still wet behind because, the ears. No, I'm. I if say. I could collect, I'm like potato. 20 years older. Ten wet years, behind the ears. Years, Ten years. I still have VHSs from back before there was even VHSs. Yeah, I have a prototype. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Damn. So, uh, do you have a favorite VHS, Simon? Yeah. What is it? 1997. Uh huh. Sports Illustrated swimsuit <laughs> edition. Okay. It's got who's it got? It's got um. 
It's Claudia really, Schiffer. No, it's got. I think it's got Rob Schneider. In it. Okay, it's got Roddy, like, Roddy Piper yeah, and he's Rob like, Schneider. No, Rob Schneider is like introducing <laughs> okay. the women mm-hmm. and whatnot, and then they have like a whole bunch of uh, uh, the swimsuit models and whatnot, like rolling through it. Wow. I thought that was amazing. Wow, I, I just saw it at the on the shelf at the the thrift store. That yeah, that's totally random. Right? Yeah, cool. Oh. I mean, oh, oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh my god! So they bang on this container that has some kind of gas Smoke. that's been released now. Oh, I, of gas. I like how there was this this sort of like this huge setup, and now we're seeing the intro credits. Right, and this oh. stop motion effect right here, this time lapse is is, is that awesome. time lapse or is that just or the font that they chose? Are it, they it melting? Really great. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Are they melting wax? Time lapse? Yeah, yeah. They have layers. I, it's it's got to be moving fast. Wait, though, that's you know? what. That's what they did in uh, uh, Indiana Jones too. With the yeah, yeah, yeah. The, Temple uh, of Doom, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, it's not Temple of Doom. The Lost Ark. <laughs> God <laughs> darn Jesus it! <laughs> Gosh dang it! Are you sure you're son 35? of a gun? <laughs> you I'm, might be younger than me. I'm 14. The Temple of Doom is the one that nobody likes. I, I guess, thought it right? was. I thought That's it was the, the, the Temple. Right. That the first one is no. Temple of Doom. No, it's no. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Raiders man. of the Lost Ark. Then you have. Then it's that Crystal Skulls movie. No, no then Crystal Crusaders. Skulls is like 2008. And then it, Brendan Fraser is in the Mummy. Yep. Oh my God. And The Rock was Scorpion. That's right. Master. Yeah. Crab Master. With Godsmack doing the soundtrack. No, I, I don't know if I've ever seen Temple of Doom. No, that's the one where the dude gets like squished by the uh, rock pillar that's spinning, right? There's a giant the rock at the beginning of one of those. Yeah, Raiders, Raiders of the Lost Ark. What, what the fuck is wrong with me? What that. the fuck is wrong with me? No, 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 no. What's, what's, the one? <laughs> what's the one with the blimp in it? Where, you know, the Hindenburg crashes? I think you're thinking about And the guy's like, oh, the humanity. No, you're, you're thinking about up. <laughs> with yeah. the dog. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's that. That's that. speed. Right, that's that oh, one speeds with, with the bus. Speeds with the bus, and it's got that guy in it. The blimp. Yeah, Robert from Downey Bill and Ted. Jr. Oh, Robert no. Downey Jr. I know you guys are. And then uh, 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 Nicholas Cage. Right, he's yeah. in it. Johnny Depp's not in it. No, you're thinking of uh, that '70s show when the dude's like, "Oh man, good year." I saw th- the alien spaceship <laughs> told me about a good year. It's uh, Tommy Chong. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's like... He edit. did doing Burned Out so well that literally people were like, that's what happens when you smoke the pot. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. You're fucking you... <laughs> slow like that and stupid. So, did do you he... think that... Do you think that um, Cheech and Chong might have actually... Created a stigma. Created a stereotype. Oh, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. Good. Absolutely. God. What a total relaxation. Just the burnt out <laughs> hippie, like the brain dead drug user. Well, Simon, mean, have you ever seen Total Recall? No. Actually, no, I haven't. Okay. Well, the original one. Yes. Thumbs up. No, I, I think it's just like a crazy. It's got that Quato guy who's like, I don't know. Quato lives, man. Um, but never Wait. ever see the remake. It's god awful. Oh, it's better. It's god awful. <laughs> it's, the, it's so much better. Fuck, fuck the other one. Just get that one. Right. Put the it Colin Farrell your, one is the better one. Oh, just make it part of your collection right. forever. You gotta have Total Recall and a healthy collection of Steve Gutenberg films to really have everything come together. What else have we seen that Steve Gutenberg's directed? I, that sounds ha- familiar. Wait, He's just an actor. Love Actually. Which one's he in? Steve Gutenberg, he's in Cocoon. Oh, really? Well, yeah. Is that a James Cameron movie? I feel like he, we've he's seen something that Three Men and a Baby. Who did Cocoon? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I know it had that one guy. Question. That one guy with the Quaker Oats. Yeah, the guy who was like, I got diabetes. Uh, diabetes, and I'm not good at saying Wilford money. Wilford Brimley. Yeah. Okay. Right? Is that really his I think name? It's Wilford, wow. Wilford Brimley. I'm pretty awesome. sure. Awesome. Sometimes I'm right about stuff. <laughs> Probably not, though. <laughs> this woman looks like Blanche from oh, Golden yeah. Girls. She's like, why don't you want to eat supper? I worked so hard. <gasps> we return with the punk rockers. <laughs> Do you call it supper or dinner? Down uh, south. When I'm pretending to be somebody, I say supper. Oh. If I was literally going to say it, I'd probably say dinner. Right. In common speech. Right. Supper. I don't know. Supper well, when actually... When I'm pretending to be somebody, I want to say supper. Right. 
Makes perfect sense. What is this? Look at uh, this angry ass God, punk rock dude. dude. He's just like, I'm just there are, upset. There are literally seven people in that car. Hey, is this Mad Max that we're watching? Or are we watching a <laughs> trauma si- film? Every yeah. movie since I mean, Mad Max like has to have some punked out. Oh, yeah. Su- suicide Su- on the hood. Right. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Dude, this does look like trauma. Yeah, it really does, These doesn't it? These guys are... This dude with the yellow mohawk in the back seat. And the preppy girl. Just And then you got the dude in the suit in the back. Yeah. He's like, you hear fucking Gary Newman's one? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm the mod one. I, I, I You know, I, the new wave stuff. Then you got the, Billy the guy Ackroyd. with the jerry curl looks like Rick James sitting in the back seat. Yeah, it kind of does. Okay, and then you got David Bowie in the front, uh, very right. Right. They're just they've just made represented anybody in popular music who is a Trent setter. It was just how people looked then. Or uh, Trent Reznor, Hollywood. The car. Jesus, what is so you just throw a smoke bomb right under right? a car and you're like, yeah, it's. Checks fucking out. broke down. <laughs> yeah, check that, <out>, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's something wrong with the engine, really, because it looks like a smoke bomb under your car. Right? Maybe smoke you need to bomb oil. checks out. They they haven't taken it to Jiffy Lube recently. And why is this cemetery like so dilapidated and like graffiti's everywhere and right. like they had to like break into it? People yeah. can't visit their dead one, like family members and shit. Or is this because it's the fucking cemetery next to that place? Huh. I don't know. That's a and good question. Like maybe it's like government property or I something. I love that orange sky. I love that giant boombox the guy had. Yeah. You need a medical supplies. <gasps> I'm still real curious why uh, Starboy's here. Oh, Starboy is my favorite character. Who is Starboy? Uh, I believe that's... What Simon is saying, the David Bowie mm-hmm. impersonator. Ziggy, yeah. oh, Ziggy Stardust? Yeah, Ziggy Stardust. Or Starman is a Star song. Man. Starman, he uh, is in uh, outer uh, space. Yeah, Starboy's uh, The weekend. <clears throat> I'm, I'm a Starboy. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm a motherfucking Starboy. Star God, I do like that song. Oh, man. John, John has introduced me to a lot of new, interesting music that I otherwise wouldn't have any, you know... Essentially anything. So thanks for that. Anything that he hasn't heard <laughs> that's popular, <laughs> right? On the radio. I'm still listening to Billy Joel. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> we're keeping the faith. <laughs> we get hit with a copyright just for singing. Songs. But you know, it's okay to talk about albums you like. Yeah, absolutely. What's your favorite album of all time? Favorite album of all time. I know that's a tough decision to Mary make. Mary Poppins but... sing along. Fuck yeah! All <laughs> right, yeah. I actually have that. It's like ah. A whole bunch of little kids singing along with it is pretty dope. Kids Bop. Yeah, it's Kids Kid Bop, Bop Volume 5. My little Number brother one, used to Volume like, 1. Yeah, 1962. now 1. Jack Jams 3. Kids Man. Bop was, they were trying real hard to be current. They do like Gwen Stefani songs. Yeah, they're like in kids. <laughs> it's just fucking <laughs> asinine, dude. It's, <laughs> it's straight cancer. Well, yeah. Somebody shared Kids something Bop. with me. From Kids Bop, a music video, and I was like, this is literally giving me cancer right mm-hmm. now. Well, I'm curious what they uh, what they changed uh, Rate Me from Nirvana to when they did the rock. Oh, because that was a hit. Jesus. Fuck yeah. Well, no, no, Kids, it Kids Bop did no, a cover wasn't. of Rate yeah, Me. You name one they just called from it, my generation that doesn't know Rate Me, it was, and I will just give called you 100 it bucks. Date Me. Yeah. Date me. Date me. Date, date me, my friend. Date me. You're not the no. only one. Well, that's probably still too sexual. I swipe like, right on someone. Take me. Take me to Chuck E. Cheese again. Or something like that. Right. Probably something more PG than date me. Because like, oh, those, yeah. those two kids are having uh Jesus Christ, dude, they're listening to fucking Cardi B. Who gives a fuck? Date me is the least of their fucking worries. Well, Chuck yeah. E. Cheese has got to be one of the most non-hygienic places. Let's get a bunch of kids with boogers <laughs> and put pissy them in a, pants. Pissy pants. Put them in a ball pit where they touch everything and then feed them food right yeah. after... Yeah. Pizza, oh, yeah. grease, everywhere. And let the parents drink. It's a breeding yeah. ground. They serve beer, man. You can have pitcher after pitcher of beer. What? It's all cut off. 
Wait, well, that's like at McDonald's. Get some more tokens. That's mm-hmm. like at McDonald's. I remember going to the playpen one time and picking up one of the balls, and somebody put their fucking bandaid across one oh, of the balls. Oh, wow. So I, the ball had an owie. A no, bandaid it, on the, the balls. Yeah, it had like on probably the ball. AIDS on the ball from an uh, yeah. AIDS bag. Well, I mean, that's what's, nothing what's when you've had a hysterectomy. It's oxygen. AIDS virus. Is I had a vasectomy recently, so. Nice. Bandaid on the Can balls. Can you get erect? Hmm. Uh, you use a bandaid as a cock uh, ring. Do it really tight. Uh, well, I'm really curious pref- because are you still on the whole thing about the anti erection pills or whatnot? After <laughs> oh my god! Ooh. When I say we could rip on each other, <laughs> this is not what I, this is not what I had in mind. It sounds like the doctor ripped on you um, enough. <laughs> oh, that was perfect. His so, name was Jack the Ripper. <laughs> my doctor Jack. Jacking off Ripper. <laughs> It was a no scalpel stuff. vasectomy. It's entirely fictional. Oh, okay. Right. Just in case his girlfriend's listening. David Bowie. He can still have kids. Yeah, look at this so, skull on her so crotch. It's awesome. She right? has a fucking fantasy of Stink death being vagina. surrounded by a bunch of men and they just like eat her alive. This I like guy. how it's called Return of the Living Dead and we have yet to see a living dead. No, well, there's it's Ten called. Minutes in. I know for you younger generation, it's hard to believe, but there's things called stories <laughs> where things unfold and like there's an act one, two, and three. And this is not hitting any of it. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> okay, I yeah, can take my statement. I can take my statement back. Woo! Best movie of the year. <laughs> David Bowie's making me feel some changes <laughs> right now. Making me feel some type of way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this fucking tune. Look at if we had flares and we could just swing them around someone. Look at this whack ass dance. This is exactly what we were talking about. Wait, then you got Prince fucking in the background. A woman can just, like, do any kind of wiggle. And it's what somehow, in the like, world is she doing? Look at these leggings or whatever. Sacrifice? What do you call those? I have well, never seen you, anything like this in my life. How do you literally life? get a woman to even do that? No fucks given. Mm-hmm. This is, and some fucking, who knows what the budget is. We'll look it up right now. We're so now they called the manager in because they're like, dude, the tank opened up. And he's like, we got a fucking... Yeah, these cylinders opened up. Yeah, but why the fuck is the chick, uh, why did she strip naked on top of Because the... she's partying, she's dancing, man. On top of the grave? Yeah. Huh. Punk rockers, partying graveyards. So the budget was $4 million. Wow. $4 million. Four million. Yep. Four million and in the thing? opening week, it did 4403000 So they made $403,000. Yep, and the total gross... Was fourteen million two hundred thirty-seven thousand. So they made ten million two hundred thirty-seven thousand off a four million dollar horror movie. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. They gave that girl three million just to get naked. <laughs> right? Yeah. Dude, three million. I'd probably get. Naked yeah, you get naked for three million. <laughs> How yeah. about some Chuck E. Cheese tokens? I'm you about play to get naked right now. Oh, fucking. Don't. Simpsons were out right now. Yeah, that that's a fucking really? good uh, zombie tool right there. Is a pony ass pickaxe? Mm-hmm. I think so. Or maybe it was eighty nine. Simpsons came out in eighty yeah. nine. Tracy Morgan, oh. I think. Oh, the Tracy Morgan show. <laughs> <laughs> Tracy Morgan. I don't think that's her name. Yeah, the comedian from mm-hmm. fucking SNL. Yeah, it's completely different. Tracy Chaplin. Tracy Chapman, right? Okay, so here we go. Tar Man. Or no, it's not Tar Man. Man, I want to see Tar Man already. It's my favorite part. Spoilers. Yeah, you just ruined the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, I'm so sorry you haven't seen a movie that was put out in 1985. And that I've owned for probably like three months now. <laughs> Four months. Look how fast that zombie is. What? Fuck. They just got everybody to be nude in this one. Yeah. This was actually the uh, competitor against Blue Man Group. Right. Yellow Man Group. Yellow. It really never took off. Jaundice Bald Man Group. 
<laughs> the jaundice corpses. <laughs> That's right. Pickaxe straight to the oh! skull. Oh, how brutal is that? Just pins it down, doesn't kill it. So this is, like, why? literally, you can't kill these zombies. Why not? Because they're dead already. So why does it make sense you can kill something that's dead? Right. Then how are they animated? What's causing them to be reanimated? Why does Dracula bite you on the neck, and how does he drink your blood? Is so, it, like, the fangs are straws? It seems or does like he the, have to lick it up? Right, the, rules like, it are constantly, the rules are constantly being changed. And if, and, if and, you... And, and if, now we have to remove the zombie's head instead of just shoot it in the head. No, it's still alive, though. You can remove the head. It's still alive. The okay. whole thing is, like, you can't kill the dead. But still, with the vampire thing, if your stomach doesn't work, right? Your internal organs are dead. There's no heartbeat. Yeah. I mean... Where's the blood going to, and how right. are you living off of it? Right. It doesn't make... So... You know, we it's okay somehow to change the rules all the time. There no, are no well, established yeah, well, rules when it comes to zombies. Well, how do you they keep can things be fast, fresh? They can... Right? And they thought, hey, it'd be hilarious to have a guy with no head running around. Like or just zombies that so... you can't kill. Like, what if? Eh. Well, then... Zombies that no, you can't kill. No, there has to be kill. some sort of uh, power source to them. Power oh. source. Yeah, like... Why does there have to be, though? Just because How else would they be functioning? Who knows? You have to extend disbelief. That's the whole point, right? Well, yeah, then there'd be a way to eliminate that uh, sense of movement, though. By, like, locking them into a room? No. Like, if you have something that's completely dead, that means that its body's non-functioning. But if there's something firing off in the whole thing about zombies is okay. that their brain is, is somehow like, still active? Yeah, somehow still active. Yet alone, their organs are not. Right. Like, their heart and the stomach and whatnot. And they have a hunger. Yeah. Like, there's an extreme variation. I think they're finally, like, honing in onto something that could be potentially mm. realistic, where they are uh, kind of picking up that there's going to be some kind of uh, nuclear explosion or so, something like that that'll cause us to uh, turn into a zombie state, but there's still going to be... Nuclear zombies. I, I have a oh, question. Yeah, there's going to be something that kicks off that we are actually... Well, that's why it's I am gas. raising my hand. It's gas from the, the fucking container, though, that's made I, well, then the why, zombies start happening. Okay, why so, are those guys dead, then? Look at... Do they look healthy? So, do you guys have a preference when it comes to how a zombie, the, you know... Is created. Is it is radiation? Is a virus? You know what I mean. What method do you prefer? Is it just a comet past? Mm. Some green well, mist. Yeah. Some I, supernatural. You know. Some more. Or 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 are we are we are we like? Is there more like a scientific preference for how? Yeah, I I'd, I'd say for <clears throat> what zombies as long as what the heck. Good lord. Lord have mercy. Oh Baby got gosh. bad. I cannot right? believe I've never watched this before. Are you serious? You've never seen Return of the Living Dead? I've never this seen this before. This is a fucking classic, yeah. bro. But yeah, yeah, well, welcome to the party, man. Yeah, uh, I mean, as long as the zombie isn't like this where <laughs> you can't kill it, like, to me, a zombie would have to be something that is functioning at a low level. So you want some way to destroy it? Is that there because of be. your own? Well, right. no, there doesn't. So have to be. No, the, how the fuck would it happen? So it's if not. There, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it does. zombies aren't going to happen in the first fucking place. So you're how saying, do you know? You're saying like a impossible. virus, like a virus, or more like a medical explanation is preferable over some supernatural. No, thing. I'm, I'm saying the whole thing about zombies. Being animated, but being unable to kill, like in the absurdity, no, it in, in the you. absurdity of <laughs> it zombies, scares you so much that you need it out. No, You're like, the, we gotta take a lot. No, in the I absurdity of bullet. zombies happening, there has to be some way to kill something that's moving. No matter what the fuck it is, well, there's a way to kill something that's moving. Well, fire regardless would of work, what right? it is, fire would work because you could well you could burn them all down, right? But what, and, I mean, you can't function when you're literally burnt. To the Terminator, a dude. Well, the human bones aren't term aren't Skynet steel. Yeah, okay? but regardless regardless of what it is, there has to be some way to eliminate it. Unlike 
this where there's no way to kill it so far that we've seen where you can stab it in the head chop its head off it still gets up so, and moves around so What's it's changing it? what we know as zombie lore so we have a movie Maybe. that's that's changing what we know well, to be true within zombies and how they exist not even necessarily that's why that's simon's so passionate right now. no it's it's that it, i like the passion the unrealness of zombies happening is taken even further than it being non-controlled by something whether it's a brain stem or something like that or your body's overheating and your brain's just functioning at a lower pace but just having like a body reanimate is like way uh more unbelievable than something taking over your body and pr pretty much just frying you your uh your brain in the personality spectrum and like yeah, er so every other emotion. Our, yeah, our zombies without personality. Our zombies without, you know, uh, are they without like a will of their own, or are they just constantly, mindlessly searching for more, more to consume? Right. Or do they? Because in night, I'm sorry for referencing something from a uh, another episode. Don't say sorry. Of, uh, Nick Cage and. <laughs> Tom Cruise. You know, when a zombie is smart enough to smash the window of a car... Yeah. Yeah. He's thinking. Yeah. Right? He's not just like this uh, slow uh, brains, right? Right. Well, yeah, well this... Th but this... That's funny that you said that is because this is the first movie that starts that whole brains. We need brains. Why, though? Because... Like, if they're not functioning, then why... Because it's just been eating flesh or just eating a person. But in this one, it specifies that these reanimated corpses now want specifically brains. Well, yeah, and that's my thing about it, though, is that it knows that it needs a specific thing. So it has to be thinking, like, it has to have some kind of thought Hunger. process or, uh, yeah, something or inside like of them that's survival. activated. Like, oh, I need to have this. Mm -hmm. Like, if it's just something that's dead, that's come back to life or not even come back to life but it's reanimated why does it feel the well, need well zombies do that to... too well yeah but why does it feel the urge I mean, to I mean uh, vampires do, do uh... that right but I guess that's because there's a um, almost a ritual that makes a vampire like you have to bite them and then you let them like drink your blood the person you bit and in mean, certain lore I mean that's not always the same either sometimes you get yeah. bit and you just become one right away but yeah so there's when just you, a lot of uh, if you, Is it because you can stake the vampire in the heart? Well, there's a lot of inconsistency. Or that the mummy comes a, back a from a curse? Of other kind of monster movies, whether it's the mummy, the vampire, the zombie, the Frankenstein, whatever you want to, uh, whatever you want to throw in the ring, there's okay, like completely different spectrums. Right, like what is scary? What what is the scariest thing about a mummy? What's the scariest thing about a, a vampire? Yeah. Like a mummy, I think is, it's almost more terrifying because this thing's been in, it's been around for two thousand years, right? Does it have power of like sorcery? Can it cast spells and shit and right? Do is it things? is it just like a bunch of fucking or is it fabric just full slow, of beetles? Yeah, yeah. Or is yeah. it just a slow, wrapped up fucking thing coming at me with one arm? Right, and a vampire. Why is that scary? Because because if they bite you, you have to. You're immortal now. Well, or are you undead? Is it like being a zombie? Is a vampire better than a werewolf? Right. Like, which one would you rather be? A werewolf or a vampire? I think you're a vampire all the time, but you only got to yeah. be a werewolf once a month. <laughs> yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Sometimes whole, twice. It's well, like my girlfriend or something. I guess it all depends on what, what story you're going off of, too, because like some vampires can go out in the sun. Some right. vampires cannot go out Day in the walkers. Sun. Day so, walkers. Yeah. <laughs> It's, you put sunblock on, dude. <laughs> right. You, know, just, right you just cover how up. The fuck did yeah. this, how, how did that arm know that there's a guy right there? Like, right. it doesn't make any sense. Like, yeah, you even to, in the how does extremely the, the craziness thing, right? thought of uh, is it sort of okay? Is it like, right? Is it so. more like a Frankenstein thing where you just you put electricity through the muscles and it it spasms? It's just, yeah, like so. How do you even explain that? Well. Well, like, is it a virus? Grab, right? A hand is wants to a... grab. A hand wants to grab, and if it's detached from a reanimated body, where would it get its energy? I don't know. That's a, where does the fucking thing come from anyway? If it's just gas, oh, yeah. how does how? Okay, 
Here, if we really want to ask a good question. Yes. If there's gas release that makes the zombies, how does a corpse in the fucking morgue breathe the gas and become a fucking zombie? Yeah. It's dead. Right. Something that's so dead it's cannot like breathe. soaked into itself. Like, I mean, there's many questions here. But the idea is that George A. Romero was doing something where you eliminated these things by shooting them in the head. And dismemberment and whatever else. So, mm -hmm. fire, right? Yeah. But now you have things, right, that you you yeah, they, don't know. You they can't, seem unstoppable. Yeah. You, how? So the only way. So if they're dead, I it's can different. I can reason that it, it's got to, you know the explanation has to be some sort of supernatural thing, right? It's like it, it you well, know yeah. it's magic. Well, yeah, and that's don't where not, you know. That's where I, I don't know about this movie already. Is it doesn't really give any explanation about it. <clears throat> the gas. But, well, the gas, but what's it do to the body? Like in the other movie, it kind of like uh, specifies a little. Oh, bit okay. More. But this one is like, oh, the gas seeps into the the person, and then they become reanimated. But there's no way to kill them, apparently, because they so just chopped their head off. Like there's okay. there's no backstory of what is actually going on, other than this gas seeped into this right. one body. Yeah, reanimated it. And apparently its entire body is still functional, whether it's attached or not, or it's, it's still uh, attached to the same one brainstem, which is what they are going off of nowadays, because it seems to be more realistic than anything else that they've talked about. Yeah, before. apparently all you need is a putrid green vapor. Look, yeah, That's it, it happens all the time. That's all you need. It, it happens all the time. You see helicopters for a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. You're like, what is going on in those mountains? Right. And then all of a sudden, there's fucking some gas, some kind of leak. Water supplies. What is this? I'm breathing. Mm -hmm. I don't feel right. Things are happening and changing all around us. I've grown hair in places I've never had hair before. Puberty, rated R. <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> oh god yeah speaking of which so, Ryan just hit puberty at 32 years right. old it did take it was a late what you call a late bloomer <laughs> believe it or not he had a couple kids beforehand right so I'm actually in the Guinness Book of World Records as the only person to have kids before puberty damn would yeah. that be considered a molestation since you haven't hit puberty yet mm. like, you're old you're older than uh the legal age it's consent. based on age bro not puberty time why though why though if i hit puberty when i'm 13 i need to be banging 45 year olds by the time i'm 13 if i hit puberty right i don't know right. i still have yet to hit it <laughs> yeah i'm working on that yeah little do you guys know Voice john cracks, is like 55 years old in a wheelchair i fucking have him a mask face Professor from X. a wound. Original soundtrack available on Enigma Records. Oh, cool. The Riddler. Yeah. Yeah, it's like just really confusing <laughs> songs. <laughs> Man, these songs I are can't puzzled. Decipher. So they've decided to just chop up the zombies, the moving parts. Yeah, you put them in a... Burn them. Just and burn them. Yeah, the incinerator. Things. Incinerate them, sons of the bitches. bitches. This will get rid of them. Just wiggling around in yeah. the bags. Just choose hefty when you want to wrap body parts. <laughs> the strong, flexible black, black bag. Sponsored oh. by Casey Anthony. Oh, hide your baby in a swamp. And look attractive and get off. So now we have zombie parts burnt up. Where's that gonna go now? <gasps> just like the pulse. gas. Mm -hmm. Just like the gas. The smoke's uh, in the air. It's gonna get your ass. So, you know, it's a green vapor. It's in the smoke that's now in the atmosphere. Everyone in town is infected. Why, though? Or affected. What was in the gas? The gas is just zombie dust, it's man. From the military, <laughs> and they were like testing shit, and somehow one of the containers. Oh, it's they the lightning that, yeah, so and it, the smoke. It becomes. It becomes. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, starts raining. So now it's in the water, wow. and it's landing on everybody. Why though? 
It's telling you. Because they predicted rain that time. Remember? Yeah. So this soundtrack is pretty epic. Oh no! She's naked still Jake. naked. Naked David Bowie. <laughs> yup. Never looked so good. If that was David Bowie, I would understand the obsession. Let's dance. Uh, look at this. In is a that graveyard a with zombie. Or is that a romper? It is a romper. I is can't that tell. No, that's a the single. belt makes it look like it's different. Like, I think that's what the piece. fuck is that woman wearing? Nothing. She's running around naked. <laughs> Girl with like the one piece <laughs> custodian outfit. So it's become a type of acid rain because their skin's burning and irritated. Did anybody give these people Somebody give me a towel? Lines? Did you guys pack towels? Did you know? They're like, Before we want all six that, of you. We need towels. <laughs> yeah. We brought towels, didn't we? They're like, shut up. You're the only one who decided to take your clothes off. The, you don't, yeah. We didn't think about We didn't think ahead. Did towels? Did you grab your clothes? Right. Could no, you put she those didn't. on? She left them there. She didn't. They're all wet. Yeah, now somebody has to leave the car to try and just retrieve your clothes. That's a cool shot. You're a cool shot. Look at that. No, there's... It's going down to the zombies. Or the robots. It's going oh, to the cemetery. Right. So the, the whole robots. It's graveyard. rain in the cemetery. It's rain, rain in the cemetery. Whole graveyards. Rain Raising in the dead. So now everyone's going to come back to life. Look at this. He's all bit... Look at them shoes shined up. He's ready to <laughs> reanimate. Yeah, I know. Like, wouldn't everybody be still pretty well dressed? Yeah, you know, from the funeral, straight up party. Like, everybody like yeah. walking around in suits, suits and dresses. Jewelry. What would you be buried in? What would I be buried? Yeah, what in? would you bury? I don't know. I'm thinking dirt. Outfit. Oh, what would you my, want to be buried? My in? favorite Pink Floyd T-shirt. Okay, Simon, how about what's you? that jeans though? What are the jeans? Yeah. What are the pants? Well, they only show you from like the waist up. So yeah, just... but you're still getting buried in it. Yeah. Like if you had that last outfit, Levi's. Okay. Silver tab. Wow. Socks. I don't know. Regular Hanes. <laughs> I but... don't know. What kind of shoes? I don't know. I'm dead. How do I get a choice? You should get to put it in your will. Oh really? Bury me in this. Yeah, oh, of okay. course. Bury me in my favorite t-shirt. I want to be, so, yeah. I want to be buried in one of my friend's skin. <laughs> mm, okay. Somebody literally yeah. has to kill your friend yeah. if they're not dead, right. or dig them up if they like weren't cremated, or they just have to smear ash on your skin <laughs> when you die. Like, sorry, they got cremated. I'm just gonna put this on you. It's just like ash wang <laughs> at yeah, your fucking yeah. wake. It had to be a closed casket. <laughs> it's just covered with fucking buddy ash. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I would personally do. I think I want to go down like fucking Mr. T, like just as many gold chains as I could afford with like any 401k money. Just put it back into myself. All out of quarter machine. And just fucking put me down like I look like Mr. T. And as I go down, there's like a recording, a mixture of Jack Nicholson as the Joker, that laugh track. (laughs) (laughs) And I pity the fool. Over and over. I, I pity the fool. I pity the fool. Pity the fool. Pity the fool. And as I go down, the lid actually closes. Mm-hmm. And there's like LED lights. Yeah. That go down. That'd be a, that would be a pretty classy way to go. It'd be pretty cool, right? Yeah. I like that idea. And then everybody has to sit through the Bob Seger song, Beautiful Loser. Okay. 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 And then I can <laughs> finally meet Satan. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Down in Hades. So the punk rockers, they can't start the car. They're hanging out in the rain. Now, I can hear Simon peeing right now. He pisses like a fucking track horse. <laughs> Kentucky Derby. So look at this, like, I just walked through the cemetery and then slowed down the, the footage. Mm-hmm. 
It you get looks someone like holding a, like a, a sprinkler. Yeah. Just soak everything down. Okay, zombies coming back to life. This is cool. I like the idea of somebody being willing enough to like crawl through yeah. dirt and yeah. be dressed as a zombie. Mm -hmm. I like the idea of someone being willing enough to just this woman just being naked yeah. through the whole damn thing. Zero fucks given. Right. Just zero fucks. If you could convince a woman to be naked and crawl through dirt for the whole thing... Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, you're gold. on to something. It's gold. Yeah, write a story around that. Right, just the entire how, thing. Yeah, how do you? Okay, born from the dirt. <laughs> you know, like, just have her dirt. Other mm -hmm. muddy naked lady. Isn't that, <laughs> yeah. would, I mean, that's mud wrestling, right? And then just I missed it. Muddy, born in the dirt. Muddy naked woman. My mother was a mud wrestler, and yeah. I will be one too. It sounded like fucking Xena. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we can get Lucy Lawless. Lucy Lawless would be perfect. She's down. She got butt naked if in Spartacus. If you could get Lucy Lawless to be crawl in a mud, through the yeah, dirt. Be the, what did you call it? Naked mud lady? It's perfect. <laughs> naked muddy person. <laughs> just be like Arnold Schwarzenegger, a predator. Like, <laughs> you just are yeah. hiding from heat vision. Look at that. Oh! Tar Man. Look at him. Man, why is she Holy wearing this, like, shit. And why janitor's would that stare... onesie? It's a, a romper. A romper. Yeah, rompers for men. Tried to take off. <laughs> yeah, David and... Bowie. David Bowie wore a romper. Damn. How convenient. Dude, on your shins. You think adrenaline would be kicked in enough that you would... Why? Would you want distance from it? Or lock yourself inside of something and hide? Like, are you a person that would go under the mm, bed if somebody question. was coming? Would you go yes. under the bed? Or would you be like halfway out the window? Right. Or something? I you think know? just put as much distance between you and that thing as possible. Okay. Yeah, me too. Because I would like I mean, to move and operate. Hiding under a bed? Ooh, you're fucked. Or in a closet? There's nowhere you can go. Keep it quiet? You're totally fucked. Tar man. That thing looks awesome, I can't say by that the enough. way. I just, yeah, I love that the, character. The, whatever, the costume, the makeup. There should be makeup. more merchandise based around him. Hmm. I think. Personally, but I got a bias. I just like <laughs> him that much, you know? Tar Man. And, and the naked lady. The naked right. David Bowie and right. Tar Man. Put them together on a hoodie and fucking sell mm. that for 60 bucks. Oh, hoodies? I don't know, 100 bucks? Tar Man and Naked Muddy Lady. Yeah. Naked Muddy Lady and Tar Man. <laughs> sounds great. Why didn't they make that sequel? What? I mean, oh, Yes. Yeah, that's pretty She's intense. like, fuck you guys. You that's... can stick around and see what's going on here. Well, paint can? Come on. Dude, come on. You guys didn't even have a switchblade or nothing? More brains. Just... <sighs> they were like, you don't have to be naked the whole time. You can have a jacket on in this scene. And we'll just see your ass from the stairs. Producers are like, dude, this checks out. Yeah. <laughs> this is, I can't, yeah. And it really did. I guess, it, I mean, it's a bigger hit than I thought. I mean, fuck, what, 14 million or whatever over all? Yeah, I so, attribute the success of this movie not only to some pretty creative special effects, but also to the fact that there was a girl who was willing to be nude the entire fucking time. You can wear a jacket in this scene. You could, yeah, how do you, okay. So nowadays you couldn't do that, do you think? In the theaters? I don't like, think have so. Have a wide no, release. There's no way, yeah. And have some nude woman the yeah, entire time. Yeah, it's too much. There's way too much It's way nudity. too much, right? Mm hmm. You gotta yeah, have like Mormons down. and like yeah, weird nuns. You would have one scene it. of that. Oh. You know, yeah. instead of like... Because that's the ratings board. 
it's like weird people. You have to like have a clergyman or whatever. There's like there. eight people who decide what yeah. movies are it's rated, rated X. Yeah. It's a hard NC-17. You're going to have yeah. limited release. You know what I think is interesting about that is... Uh, you have in, girls kissing. Yeah, in Europe, it's almost the, the opposite of oh, what yeah. we have here in the United the States. The violence. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, So yeah. somehow, like, uh, uh, if you yeah, if you have, like, 50 Cent, right? Get rich or die trying. He says, they say fuck, like, 170 times. Mm-hmm. But... So that movie's fine. Some of them, like, yeah, give it a rated R. That'll that'll work. But if there's any amount of like, uh, you know, boobs. Yeah, I mean, like any amount of sexuality in in Europe, it's completely different. Violence is actually rated more severely or right. differently than nudity. Huh. Yeah, I don't quite understand. Uh, these punk rockers. Jerry Curl guy. Oh, mama. What I miss? <coughs> they're, they're all terrified and... Uh, <coughs> Running. Okay, back in the rain. Zombie rain falling on your skin again. Back to the cemetery? Why? Fuck, dude. Oh my gosh. I think How many days just... you gotta do that? Her ass is just hanging I out. I think that would be so much fun. She's barefoot. She like Just died. Running, running through Cause puddles. Because Gene Kelly did that singing in the rain sequence and he got... Pneumonia from it. Oh, really? Yeah. Look at this fucking animatronics. Yeah, how the fuck does it have eyes and everything else? Oh, it's. Gone. It don't make no sense, man. No. Continuity it's just a good time. I think. That, <laughs> Continuity. Yeah. Fuck. Zombies freak me out, though. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'm sure we're going to get hit with the copyright fucking shit with that. Rah, rah, shit. Like, Rad is like, hey, that's our song. You know, sure it is. <laughs> Graveyard Rock. Yeah. With such hits as... Getting eaten alive while naked eaten in the alive. mud. Naked in the mud. Naked muddy lady. We want to give a big thanks to anybody who might be listening. Chrissy, Colin, Nick, Anthony, Matt, Tim, Melanie... Beatloaf Rob. Subscribe. Hit that like button. Yeah, and eat some of those fruity tooties. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I hate Tootsie Rolls for some reason, and I always loathed people that handed them out at Halloween. Were you ever just, like, thrown any type of just, candy yeah. and, like, really judged the person mm-hmm. that was, like, giving you stuff? Like, what? Never. Never. It's free stuff, and I appreciate anything free that is given to me. Yeah. Uh, not Tootsie Rolls. I ain't spoiled. But I like Fruity Tooties. I remember getting, like, toothbrushes from dentists. Are you serious? Like, we, yeah, we don't... We're not going to give out candy. Was it a Spider-Man toothbrush or anything? Because, you know, it's... The, all the other houses are getting nothing but candy. Mm-hmm. They're like, I'm going to be the one... Sugar-free. It just gives you Sh- mouth cancer. Mm-hmm. Look at this morgue guy or this uh, funeral home dude. He's got shorts, or he got a pant leg ripped off. For some reason, he looks really hip. Them high socks. He rolled that one pant leg up because he's a crip. Oh, okay. Right. Or a blood. Pie roots. Something. Vice lords. Latin kings. So what kind of, what do you call that? This is literally, like, when I envision... We have yellow jackets on. (laughs) Yeah, yellow. Yellow is in. Looks great. These guys literally look like they could be in Amigos fucking music Mm -hmm. video. And don't get me started on fucking Amigos. Man, they literally... Literally. Literally. We inside the ambulance. 
Mm. Yellow jackets are we wearing? Mm. 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 Bunch of zombies fucking outside zombies? Tr- oh shit! Yeah. Dude, how's that zombie smart enough oh to know God, to get inside would... the truck? Yeah, you're he... fucked, dude. They're so fast. Ho! Oh. What? He's like, Why you is he owe waiting? me money. Yeah, totally. He's like Montana. <laughs> <yeah. laughs> Fuck off, dude. What is this? The zombies do look pretty good. I I like that. Uh, it seems like they went out of their way to 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 make them look really sloppy and gross. Oh, okay, yeah. You know, it's got to be hard to um, create a scene or direct a scene where you need a bunch of people in makeup. Because yeah. think of how many artists you need to like just make them all. Or right. you say, hey, do your own zombie makeup, like in a low budget way. You know, and yeah. then when you show up, maybe we make some touch ups to it. Right. I mean, you need professional makeup artists and people yeah. who are who are who are in in you know like actually creatively thinking about how each costume should look. And then to try and coordinate like 20 or 30 people to get them all to do. Because you can't just say, all right, everybody Damn. just do your own thing. Because it would be yeah. chaos. Oh, shit. Yeah, these things are going fucking beast mode in here. S- fucking Rick James. Mm-hmm. He need to do so, something. And who's left? Oh, Mohawk guy. So do you guys prefer the rage mode zombie over the oh, sluggish... No. Mindless zombie. No. No. I Which don't do you prefer? It's different. Which do you prefer? Well, in both aspects of uh, believability mm-hmm. and per- preferability, mm-hmm. I'd say the slow zombie because unless there's some kind of super virus that like supercharges it, right? Like it's decomposing. How yeah. could it be? You know. Well, yeah. Not only fully that, functional, but if you're not like able to have some kind of conscious thought then you can only assume that not the entire brain is like fired mm-hmm. up yeah. from whatever right. kind of uh, virus it is or what have you right look at okay. this fucking thing so this is this is a guy uh, who i think that thing is no legs, a right? guy who probably that's a real person yeah and jerry yeah. springer they have mm-hmm. a guy who had like just his lower half and walked yeah. around you know they desperately needed no, ratings. No, right. that what? No, that's got that's got to be one of the more interesting things for well for me at least that you can take someone who's missing limbs, right? Okay. They use people who are missing limbs in magic tricks, right? Where they have a contortionist who's you know under a skirt, right? And then they have a guy who has no legs. And it makes it look like the magician has taken, you know, some guy, pulled him in half, mm. and put him on some other, some woman's legs, right? Yeah, yeah. Because the girl who's like folded up inside a skirt. Or so anyway, I think that's a weird sort of, that's a, that has got to be the strangest way to capitalize on uh, a disability or a deformity. Yeah, right? exploit it. Like yeah. You, yeah, and th- I think that's amazing. Or too, they did it cool. in Freaks, that old, yeah. I think like 30s movie. So only, you know, in this kind of movie does that work. So trying to stay alive here, you got to fortify... Fortify the place you're in. Oh, banging at arms. Boarding up the windows. So some like fucking uh, Billy Idol's playing or something. You want mo mo mo? Banging hands. <laughs> Even if those are props, though, and you have to stick your arm in through mm-hmm. a window, right? It's always, like, swinging this blunt object. They're like, I am a method actor. And they just, like, start breaking your fingers and shit. So here's a zombie who knows how to use the a speech. CB radio. He's talking. Yep. He's, like, just talking. You never see that on Walking Dead, right? No. Oh, yeah, that. And he has no... 
brain activity, supposedly. So how the hell is he able no to brain figure it out? Activity. So how is he going to play Simon Says? Simon Says do something that's more believable than, oh, dust got in the air. Yeah, so what's that dust, though? It's gas. Gas, ass, or grass. It's like a zombie Febreze that's been let off in the fucking room. Whatever the case. I feel like it doesn't smell too bad, but I feel like it's fucking giving me a headache. <sighs> Switchblade, oh. shit. Throw it to John. Wow, oh, yeah. Punk rockers carry switchblades. Hey, you dumb, Chris Rock. Wow, this guy is not looking good, man. He's laying down, looking gray as shit. Well, is shit gray? I guess it's not gray as shit. Gray as hell. No. It's as, it's as gray as this VCR. Hey. Bam, bam, bam. It's as gray as an elephant's butt. Look. Well, no, it's more white. It's like if Casper was part of an elephant's ass. You what don't remember color that? is an Comic elephant's series? ass? Gray, right? Elephants are gray? Rhino? I think there are probably like brownish elephants out there, because there's the there were woolly mammoths. There's a couple different types of elephant. There's the African elephant and the Indian elephant. It's a couple of different kinds or slightly different sizes. Slightly different, different sizes. They have black bears are overpopulating like New Jersey, but because people don't want to see bears killed. They like, you know, they can't hunt them, and so now you have an overpopulation of black New bears. Jersey. Wow, is that black weird? bears? I believe so. That's crazy. At least, or I was drunk listening to my friend tell mm -hmm. me that. Just stood out. Look at how many fucking buttons. And mm -hmm. fucking this guy's yeah, he's got a flare, dude. He's yeah. got flair. That mohawk. You need 22 pieces of flair. The movie Aliens, James Cameron gave everybody their outfit so they could take it home and do their own art on it. Oh, no So way. that's why everybody had a personalized... That's awesome. Yeah, wow, is that a cool. great idea? I had no idea. I thought I knew everything about that Aliens. Oh! Guess I didn't. But now you know. Yes, I know some more about that. Wow, aliens are, look at how many. These paramedics are toast. So just they're just sending more and more paramedics. Oh, with a fucking you know, pipe. You guys did a terrible job hammer. of boarding up this window. Yeah, like you, you put them where there's not middle. even openings. <laughs> you just wasted the boards. You didn't even bother to cover up the opening. They were having a board sale. Skeleton arm. That'd be the weakest one, right? Right. There's no muscle on it. <laughs> it's <laughs> bones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's biting him! Oh my god! Fuck! Oh, awesome! Holy shit! They're sawing it in yeah. half or axing it. Yeah, this stuff is great. Damn! Holy <laughs> fuck! <laughs> oh! Is a woman zombie with really long hair? Yeah. Or is a Robert Plant zombie? Oh, that guy's dead for sure. Crater brain. So, do you think they have a hole in the floor? With like a puppet underneath, or how? Do, I mean, what is that? Is it a person? I think the is whole thing's probably uh, animatronic. Is it? That's amputee? why we're not seeing it. We're just seeing the hair right now. Right, totally animatronic. Yeah, the whole thing. Some is. kind of puppet. Got a, probably a couple people on remote controls doing shit. Wow, that looks awesome. It does. I love this part. This is probably yeah. my favorite part for sure. <laughs> we gotta get the fuck out of here. Fuck. Right. So that's so not a, a person in makeup. Yeah. It's a, it's 
But we, that's such a good puppet. It's awesome looking. Yeah, it looks great. It checks out. Checks out, dude. Puppet checks out. Checks out. I mean, I bet somebody started some fucking weird porn addiction just watching right, that part, right? right? right. They're like ropes and a half of a mm. fucking body. <laughs> <laughs> Horror movies like are like, blamed for another serial yeah. killer creation. They like the spine being exposed. Mm-hmm. This sweaty guy. If I can see the spine, she's fine. Mm-hmm. Why is it wag it like a tail, though? Nobody moves her back that way. Right? Yeah, the like spine fucking, can't move that way. Ah, dragon tails. Fucking. <laughs> Did you really explain the whole reason of why <laughs> this looks is happening? <laughs> The gas. Right, uh, sorry. <laughs> it's the fucking 14th time. No, I know. The fucking gas. I done. know. This zombie, <laughs> this zombie is really explaining what's going on with that, though. Oh, is what I'm saying. Right, they have like what a specimen say, to study. Yeah, what like she's the, saying is that they, they actually feel pain. And oh. that's like all they feel. There's so much pain that that's why they, they want to eat. Why? Because the only thing that will ease the pain is the brain. Why? Because Cause pain rhymes with brain. And <laughs> I mean, come on, it makes zombies. sense. That's stupid. Zombies want to eat something, they want to fuck crack your head like cantaloupe. I re- Return of the Living Dead out of ten stars. Oh, it's not over yet. Five. Oh my god. You Early haven't even gotten review. to the review yeah. part of Early the second review. show. It's just not... You're really going that far already? Yeah. People love this movie. I so know. make sure to subscribe. I mean, it's definitely entertaining, but as far as like being able to pay attention to it and like... Be like, oh, this actually could happen. I don't believe it for one fucking second. Mm-hmm. Huh. Right. That's, yeah, I mean, that's where suspension of disbelief. Yeah. Mm, right. Like, there's no... Oh, there I is none. This. There, there is uh, no... Sp- 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 yeah, there, there's no... Oh, I could see this happening. There she is. She's back. Or David life. Bowie's back. There's no plausibility? <laughs> Yeah, but like, I mean, slowed it down and everything. This is like a fucking music video right here. So you have a studio, right, where you can have like a sprinkler system above, and you just get as many rain shots as you can, because that was just a black, you know, setting like the yeah. night sky and just some water falling. So you can probably get but a bunch of those shots, right? Yeah, it's like it's like ten dollars. That's your budget for that. I doubt so, we gotta make those sprinkler rigs. I am definitely watching this movie again. So you know, already you want to watch it again, Ryan? Absolutely. And Simon never wants to see this movie ever again. No, it's not that I don't the ever want to see it again, but it, it, as far as like a horror movie, it's extremely oh, it's like, unbelievable. It's, like, and it's low ranked. Yeah. Like, as far as that, but as far as entertainment factor, it's definitely got it. But as far as, like, uh, kind of gets you gripping the side you said of your it, seat. Oh, yeah, I see. Like, believability? No, it's, nothing it's scary low. about no. it. Right. I see what you mean. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's you know, I think that uh, this the movie that gleefully wants to go all the way in its depiction of voracious gore. No. And not necessarily trying to scare you. It's a it's a it's a gore fest, you know. It's. I wish we all fucking still like looked this way, or we could. Do you think you could just get away, like with wearing a suit, going out to hang out, and like one of us had like green hair or blue hair? Mm-hmm. Or what's big? Or that? Could we lavender? do that now? Some kind of like platinum lavender hair. Billy Ellis. In a skinny fucking suit. Fucking zombies. Then you got Mr. Crackhead over there still kicking. For some reason, that, that like, sleeveless shirt, the, the fucking Rick James hair, and the camo pants. It never goes out of style. <laughs> you could wear that today and be the coolest. Yeah. There's a certain age as a man where it's like, I'm going to tuck my shirt in now. Mm-hmm. Like, even if it's, like, a fucking rock shirt, you know, a band What's shirt, your, yeah. or, like, a novelty t-shirt, you're just What's like, your... I'm going to tuck it in. What age is that? I don't know. But I want to, I hope I fucking hit it. I hope I never hit that. And I fucking realize 
that it's the best idea mm-hmm. in the world. Okay. <laughs> I hope I just follow tradition. Get a belt. I'm like, one day I'm like, fuck. I, yeah, you know I, should, I should tuck, tuck this in. in. I'm tucking in my X-Men shirt and I'm going golf. Mm-hmm. You got to wear a college shirt. I told you 35 times. A belt. A belt. And fucking nice shoes. Light blue denim. A wallet that smells like fucking musk. Some kind of fucking... Mm-hmm. Like you don't buy the cologne, but you get magazines every once in a while with and those rip up and you just rub thing. it on yes. there. Yes. Just fucking rub that leather in. <laughs> fucking till it soaks in. And every time you open it, somebody's it's, like, God damn. That like Dracar Noir. Yeah, this dude spends a lot of time with his wallet out at a strip club. Uh-huh. <laughs> and so they have hair caps for your hat, your hat caps. Rain but caps. like the rain caps on the, the fucking hats. Wow. Oh, wow. That is brutal. It's like oozing still, and it was like thick, like gack. Yeah, it looked really good, really gross. Oh, man, Marisa. no chance, dude. No chance. There's about 50 of them. They, yeah, they only called the two cops out to investigate it. Yeah, how, okay, Send any more, more cops. In zombie <laughs> movies nowadays... Right? If right. this were being made now. Yeah, okay. The, they'd have a SWAT team. There'd be helicopters. They'd, you know, like the National Guard. Yeah. They'd like be like, we're ready to nuke the city. It's it, Like the whole city's got to go. It's really disturbing to me what direction Hollywood decides to take certain things with. And I've always hated that like idea of that person that always said that cliche thing of like, the book's better than the movie. You know, you should read the book. But for once in my life, I decided to read a book. And I actually read World War Z. And it's testimonials of people that survived the zombie, like, you know, outbreak. Okay. And each one is being in, listen or is a chapter. And it's so, a journalist, like, just getting all the testimonials. Virtually nothing like the movie. And, I mean, there's stories like that in there that are yeah. that sick. Like, yeah. downtown L.A., and there's fucking zombies, and they're, like, dropping fucking rockets and bombs. Mm. And they decide, like, that the current missile system, like, sucks out air of people, so it doesn't really, like, blow you up. Like, the concussion could, you know? Okay. But, like, it literally, like, it, like, pulls the lungs up out of the <laughs> Good zombies. Lord. So there's a bunch of zombies with just, like, their fucking lungs, like, yeah. out through their mouths. Wow. Yeah, that's utterly uh, uh, gory. I mean, disturbing imagery. When If you were to read that in a book, I can see how that would be really disturbing. How do you turn that into a movie? Movie, yeah. Well, yeah. well a movie that's just rank. And the CGI, it's like they had no budget. You know, if you're going to do something like that, make sure you have a budget enough. Fuck. So you just put an Alka-Seltzer in somebody's mouth and it makes yeah, it look like it. it's a foamy, rabid, zombie mm-hmm. mouth. Acid in the fucking face. So you would just want to disable them somehow. But how do you do that to 50 fucking zombies outside? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. You know, and they're swarming on you like a fucking pack of fucking wild dogs. Who can get the brain first? They're so, yeah, I mean, it, I, I don't know. Chainsaw? No. 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 I think, like, a like a like uh, uh, like the fire department should come out and just, With the you hose? know. Right? Spray them down. Yeah, I mean, it would keep them at bay for a little bit. We would waste a lot of our water. <laughs> <laughs> That's clean gonna water. We're going to need to drink. Bill's going to go up about 200% because of the mm-hmm. fucking zombie outbreak. Everybody understands firemen had to do mm-hmm. what they needed to do. I prefer fire people. Yeah, That's right. The fire, look, everybody here cares about everyone else. Turns out that the zombies are actually the best emergency response workers you could get because yeah. they could just stand there forever. Holding a fire hose. We need more in the budget. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, man, that's cheap labor, man. So it's always get to a car, right? Do you think a car is literally the best option? If you got into your car, like, say we noticed shit was going down right now. We looked out the windows. 
Yeah. Would it be the best Even idea to run to down car? to yeah. the car, get in it, and would we have better odds by mm-hmm. driving? Or, it it, it yeah, depends but. on how bad it is in the next town over, you know? Mm. Like, I mean, you're, you're fucked staying here regardless. <clears throat> so, the car seems to be the best... Uh, viable option. Yeah, I mean, you just you drive in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, right. Yeah, That's the, yeah. you go Until somewhere you're in a where fucking there's hardly Cujo situation, and you're just like locked in your fucking car. Well, I mean, like the, they're like, surrounding it. You go to a desert, or you go to some place, you know, that's just the there's desert. no one. <laughs> right. Well, how many zombies are going to be wandering around in the desert? Yeah. Well, from the northwest, if you're fucking <laughs> right where we are, right. <laughs> Well, yo, you're gonna make it to the desert in no. like two okay, days. So yeah, I mean, it would take you a week. I mean, and who says it's better out there though? Well, there's just fewer so the, people to become zombies. You yeah, know, but like there's also the least... fewer supplies, right? Yeah, but there's plenty of like peyote and stuff. Yeah, you survive off of that. Totally, I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Fuck. So suddenly the zombies become slower and they allow these guys to fucking swing their fucking but now they're fat way. Yeah, it's they it's whatever they need them to be it seems like. The oh, zombies fuck. are smart. They can feel pain when you throw acid in their face. Is the cop light attracting more zombies by flashing? Oh yeah, turn the light off, man. It just looks better cinematically. This, wow, stunt man. He probably hurt his knee. He's like, mm-hmm. nobody even knows that I hurt my fucking knee on that. <laughs> I landed so hard. The unit told me, oh, you're a stunt person. They made 10 you're million. Get injured. I said, look, I've fallen off a lot of cars. I think that rear tire was low. That rear tire was mm-hmm. low. I could not position myself correctly. I fell off that side, busted my damn knee. Still to this day, it hurts. Stunt guy number 14, testimonial. Yeah. Stunt drivers, man. How are shit. you going to Go call on, just the ram cops? Up. Don't slow down. Right. Or would you just... I mean, you'd wreck. Your car would be fucked. Uh, oh, my God. There's so many of them. Holy shit. I think you would probably just run over a couple of them, and then the car couldn't go anywhere because right, it's so stuck you have on a pile of zombies. literal... Uh, mannequin scarecrows out there mm-hmm. you have some real people to the side and you allow the fucking car to just like cream oh, it to right. them right you have a bunch Maybe of fake people it, you know, in the middle yeah. and then real so it looks kind of yeah, yeah. The camouflaged in there we should try that with a moped oh dude <laughs> just like eight mopeds just get a dirt bike doing like red rover red <laughs> rover send fucking Tommy right over boom fucking moped death so this guy looks like me trying to find something fucking <laughs> back from the bar. He's just like thrashing. He's like, ah, I thought there was fucking wheat bread. So he's like, let me help you. Jesus, Touching what her the fuck? lower thigh. Easy, Joe Biden. Upper thigh? I guess right up. Yeah, I mean, he <laughs> damn near had his thumb like right up in her yeah, fucking butt. So... They were like add pink and red to his mm-hmm. eyes and have them closed. They didn't even put like derma wax over it or anything. Holy shit. We're gonna get hit with this like fucking blues tune. He's gonna kiss his wedding ring. Why not use the phone and call her? Men never call. I'm telling you. So he's going to pull out... He's going to fucking cremate himself. To try and... He's just... He avoid doesn't want, he becoming come, a zombie yeah. or mm-hmm. get eaten by zombies. Right. Could you even touch that? If zombies are eating everybody... How did it shut? How is there anybody left to become a zombie? To where the zombie... Do they die then? Simon returns with a new fucking attitude. He's awake now. Sleepy. Tired. Like the living dead. Look, so this zombie even knows well enough to pretend to be a fucking cop. But how? That's still the problem I have yet to 
hold throughout this entire movie. Is you have yet to hold. This is the only one you've held. No. Not No Living Dead, the original one. Oh. Made more sense. This makes no, no sense. How's it happening? What? Why is it happening? What's caused it to happen? But do zombies make sense to begin with? Kind of. A little bit. So what kind of argument are we having here? The smoke caused yeah, the zombies. No, nothing not having about any this brain movie activity. makes sense. The only thing that makes sense is David Bowie naked dancing around. Right. Everything else. I think anybody would be up for that. Yeah. How is this guy not disheveled see. at all? Like, his clothes are still, like, nice. And... He's got the Eddie Bauer edition of the uh, Windbreaker. This girl, it was, like, my dream girl. Of dream. 1985. Yeah. <coughs> dream, 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 dream. She wears blue stuff. That shows a show in the nice. night. She, she loves me mm-hmm. young mm-hmm. when it's colder. 1985 loving girl. <laughs> 1985 you were my world. Z for zombie. Oh my gosh. He's that door's got a big Z on her. it, right? Am I wrong? He's like, let me protect. I'll be your safety belt. The fuck off me. What's he going to do? Oh, so this zombie even knows well enough to actually, like, flee to them. Uh, Sounds like uh, Ultimate Warrior doing uh, those fucking (laughs) monologues. Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan. Okay, so Tar Man's going to come out. This part's sick. Tar Man. David Bowie, Tom, man. Man, yes. whoever did that in that suit. Yeah, is, it looks incredible. Oh, <laughs> baseball bat to the head. Beat that motherfucker down. Yeah, that looks excellent. Tar, man. I mean, he just, yeah, it's just, it sounds like, I think you call them um, hippies, like Wookiees. <laughs> and I feel like like Tar Man would be another good term for like hippies, right? Like, I've been to thirteen fish shows. <laughs> you have hash. Your fucking brain has got to be affected by that. Thirteen fish shows. <laughs> like there's, so, you know what I mean. You, you have, can you even get a job anymore? <laughs> yeah, like. I, can Is you that on it? your resume? Yeah. It was 13. You know, I went to Bonnaroo. I went to fucking Can't Man Do. I've been to Ibiza. Oh, man, that'd be sick. I know somebody that went to Ibiza. Oh, and I really? was like, did you go to the clubs? Did you party? Oh, not really. You just like, camped. what the fuck are you talking about? Not really. Went so just camped. Eh. What do you do? We stood outside and we heard the bumping of the bass. Mm-hmm. But then came supper. <laughs> <laughs> Here come the zombies. That's your roadblock. Mm-hmm. National Guard's not there yet. I know. It's just a, hey, there she is again. Yep. Oh, look at that fucking mouth pros- yeah. prosthetic or whatever the fuck that is. That looks crazy weird. She's like Ronald McDonald. Mm-hmm. Meets fucking shitty vampire effects from Van Helsing with Wolverine in it. Never call the emergency number on a container con- that has fucking some weird gas and dead body in it. Like, contact us. Don't you think that immediately, like, fucking mm-hmm. two hitmen are called? Like, it's just like, <laughs> that could have been a great movie right there. It's just, it's just a receptionist. Gas is released. Yeah. They just they re- reached the receptionist yeah. from the company yeah. that was once... In possession of the zombie cylinders. Right. And the receptionist is like, oh, yeah, mm-hmm. here's your problem. Yep. Here's how to fix it. Done. Did you try restarting Did it? you try? <laughs> <laughs> it's a little engineer joke. So he's, he's like, okay. They're like, so, we need a bald yeah. guy who Remember looks like he knows when something. Remember fucking... Uh, 
project fucking hidden container in fucking medical place. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, we got a problem there. He's mm-hmm. like, okay, what are the details? <laughs> How many? <laughs> He's like, I'm Look, also the, the dad on that yeah, 70s show. The, yeah, the concerned wife in the background who's quiet. Right, like my girlfriend would be like, "What the fuck are yeah. you? It's four Who's in the morning. Shut that fucking thing off. Turn the lamp on and everything." But he probably had that conversation a long time ago. He's like, "Honey, it's work. If I have to mention it again, I'll break my foot off mm-hmm. in your ass." Isn't that something Red Foreman would say? <laughs> I'll break my foot off in your ass. He's the bad guy in RoboCop. Mm-hmm. Red. Yep. Mm-hmm. Kurtwood Smith. Yes, that's it. Yep. That's what his is name that, is. Oh, really? Kurtwood Smith. Yeah. Really? Wow. That's an actor S- name. Simon's read the credits to that 70s show. Oh, so, yeah. So what is it? It's, um... <sighs> what would your... Yeah. Ooh, Ooh Simon! Yawn fest. Yawn it's fest. It's a fucking interject and some fun and feels a bitch in a VR. Come to Yawn Fest where you can take sleeping pills and Nothing's, camp out for four days. Nothing's grabbed me <laughs> in this movie so far. Nothing's mm. grabbed you. Not since the beginning. Like, yeah, this I know. Once you get kind of just drug along. Once you get past okay. the nudity and stuff, it does kind of lose steam. Well, um, yeah, like... It's a cool depth shot. Um, I feel... Yeah, and... I'm still digesting a lot of what you say, but yeah, I'm really taking a lot of it into consideration as I've watched this movie probably six times or so. The eggs have hatched, right? What is this fucking Godzilla now? <laughs> <laughs> Matthew Broderick. You're hatching in the... Can suck my dick. Ooh. Ooh. Tango Alpha Beta Charlie Delta. <laughs> he's like Fox he's Trot. Social Security number one two three four. Yeah. Yes, the code, I, please. R. Why does it look like he's hot just in dog. a van? Hot. Wait, he no, drives the van with a keyboard. Hot dog. It's fucking hotel, dude. No, it. It's not hot dog. No, it's hotel. Look at this fucking Range thing. Range Mark. Yeah. This thing's just ready. It's just always operating. There's somebody inside of it, like, doing crosswords and drinking fucking coffee. Oh, shit. We got some orders. All right. Looks like we got action. Is that a fucking nuclear bomb? Mm -hmm. Right. We're just going to say fuck it and just nuke it. Nuke the whole town. Calling the number was the best thing they could have done, right? They should have just... If they called the number, none of this would have ever happened. They're doing the pictures again. Statue? Was yeah, that she real? is. The woman of my dreams. Oh, just a picture. Yeah. Something about chicks that like rock and roll or dress that way. You know? Like, <laughs> isn't that something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Spectacular results, sir. Less than 4,000 dead. Hmm. It's probably like 3,998. Yeah. <laughs> Again with the rain on the corpses. Oh, the because the nuclear Chanel, fallout right. brought more rain. Rain, rain, rain. So the fucking. They did the rain same shot. Same made shoes. zombies that they nuked, and now there's more nuke rain. Zombie. Is that the same shot from earlier yeah, in the movie? They just reuse it. Yep. Oh, credits. Tar Man. He's my favorite part, probably. It's cool. So. I don't know. I, yeah. I feel like a lot of what, Simon, you've said and you've been. does. It kind of persuade me to like re uh, analyze this movie because I kind of have just always watched it and just enjoyed it for what it is. But if we were really gonna try and break down 
if there's any like zombie lore in here that makes sense to us or if it's just like something that they kind of threw together i don't know i mean it's kind of like written as a com comedy too so i don't think it's supposed to be taken seriously within the the realm of the living dead trying to do the opposite of what george a romero's done yeah i mean uh are we are we gonna go ahead and do our review? Are we gonna our final thoughts on this? Yeah, I, I I think we should just uh, unless we want to finish these credits here. I feel like any, any comments <laughs> that we want to say. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure Simon's <laughs> review is ready. It it certainly doesn't have the drama or the sort of like mm, social context that the that night of the living dead has it is like you said a lot more of like a comedy i felt like it had elements of like exploitation movies okay and uh yeah. it, you know I, I i i think it's a really fun watch but as far as it having like any real heavy meaning it's yeah i mean it's not that's not what they're trying to do here yeah i don't think they're so. just trying to have a good time yeah <clears throat> that's what i picked up off of it um a lot of the stuff that they were bringing into the whole aspect of the zombie universe or whatnot made absolute zero sense <laughs> and as far as a a film it was entertaining but i also found myself kind of starting to doze off a bit here and there just because simon was sleeping literally probably like a half an hour <laughs> <laughs> Give or take. He's, he hasn't seen the last 20 minutes. What they were doing was trying to fill you in on a story that made absolute zero sense and <laughs> needed no filling in at the beginning. So I thought that midway through I'd take a nap. Yeah, might as well. It probably made it a little more sense than what they were trying to explain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, What was going on that I made think no that's, sense. When I saw you sleeping, and when you woke, like, and when you woke up, I think for the third or second time. When I saw you sleeping, and then you gave your two cents. Like you said, song. "There's nothing in this movie, movie. that's making mm. sense, yeah. and it can't keep my attention, and so I'm gonna sleep." You wake me up in a little bit, and I see what I see. I'm well, yeah. watching a movie. Some of the, some of the things, like. There's been times where we'll watch a movie and, like, I'm just as tired as I am now. Yeah. Yeah. But it actually grabs me a bit more than this where it kind of just seemed like it was being... It, it almost seemed like it was a bedtime story. Okay. Something... It, it was entertaining enough to kind of keep me, but not entertaining enough to keep me awake. If that makes sense. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's funny. Yeah, I'll be... Just, I'll like be, fell off, yeah. yeah. I'll, be, I'll be actually trying to find stuff that's not particularly interesting to put on and fall asleep too. to fall asleep yeah because oh, if it's too interesting yeah just keeps you you know awake. what's good for that dark crystal mm. oh, yes dark crystal i don't think i, I have, saw the middle part of that i movie have fallen asleep to dark crystal it, three like, times the third time i think mm -hmm. i saw the middle part of that movie that movie is literally like a sleeping pill for your eyes also the the soundtrack to blade runner Ooh, or any okay. episode of the twilight zone oh yeah definitely hmm. Fuck Better that. than Ambien. And you won't wake up midway through <laughs> and make a sandwich. Yeah, or cuss out somebody. Or mm -hmm. draw on your carpet and then be like, who the fuck did this? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. You have to find the, the youngest uh, kid who's just smack him around assuming they did it. It's a pentagram on the carpet <laughs> yeah. in ketchup. You, you find video footage. You're like, I got a great idea yeah. for a film. I'm going to do a pentagram right here in my fucking carpet. Uh, did Pranks. I black out on Ambien again? No, but falling through, yeah, yeah, or not being able to keep your attention was something that really registered with me. And, and when Simon was saying that, I, yeah, this movie does kind of pitter out. It, it, yeah. it hits this really good point yeah. when it opens up and with the credits and you're, you're meeting the punk rock people and they're going in the cemetery. And I, I think right when the rain hits, I, I could deal with all of that and, and it not making sense or whatever else. But the idea that they're locked up in this morgue for like or whatever the fuck they were in where they that funeral home and there's really not much I, I think more locations. I'm trying to think of what would have made it better. 
maybe I don't know, like more battling. Maybe if yeah. you could kill the zombies, there would be a better movie because you could show more of the battling with the zombies and them having a fighting chance. But since they had no fighting chance, maybe they did a disservice to their movie because you can't really even fucking encounter them or do anything because you're fucked immediately and there's no way of killing them. So how do you make a movie where you're going to survive against things that you have no fighting chance? Because in Night of the Living Dead, it was cool to see them going against yeah. them and, and hitting it, them yeah. and, like, you know, barricading and, like, knowing that it takes we can in, make it somewhere. It's black just, and white. It takes place in one house. Yeah. You know? They had, like, several locations. Okay, so, yeah, the location. So it's, yeah. like, it doesn't necessarily make it better to have a graveyard and a medical facility right, and okay. a... And a, and, a, and, a, and a morgue or whatever. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, 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 you, you, you have to uh, have more creative. I don't know. Just like the, the punk rockers are great, but I don't feel like there was any character in particular that I wanted to follow well, yeah. through the whole thing. Yeah, I think they kind of destroyed the whole uh, hope for the hero as soon as they introduced the first zombie where they chopped the head off, chopped everything up and realized that it was still moving, like they just destroyed any any kind of like uh how the first one had the couple of main characters or Night of the Living Dead where they had you rooting for a certain person, whereas this one they kinda of destroyed all your hope of having any human being surviving because they just they literally fucking chopped okay. up yeah. Them yeah, into yeah. everything, and they're like, oh, "Okay, yeah. so you gotta yeah, you're have in, these people. They can, in, they can literally dismember this mm-hmm. being limb to limb, and yet they'll still be functioning. So it's like, right. well, what the fuck am I gonna be? Uh, uh, what's gonna hold my attention and like kind of give that sense of uh, tension throughout the entire movie? Because you know they're." all gonna end up dying regardless there is no yeah there is no lead character there is no there's no hope somebody, yeah there's there's nobody there's no hope yeah they destroyed it there is no hope and I think that's where I there's no of, new hope yeah there's no old hope there's no new hope or yeah new hope Bob Star hope. Wars Pod Trilogy 3 <laughs> episode three which Pod is actually trilogy. fucking return of the living i have to just say i love this movie even if i know that it it has a lot of fucking problems there is something about it that still just makes it unique to where i don't think that you would ever be able to get away with a lot of this and maybe it even inspired some people that made great things. I don't know who's in, you know, movies now that is like, I like Return of the Living Dead and I yeah. base my movies you I know, do upon it. Or I like but, I like that you could remake this any number of times in any any style you want, you know? Yeah. You just take like the basic elements and you just kind of do a, a different variation on that every time. Right. So yeah, I mean, you maybe could. it could be remade. But you, I, you, you wouldn't get away with the exploitation elements, I don't think. Yeah, I don't know. The same that this... this In 84, it was just... 85. Um. 84? Is it 84 or 85? Well, on Internet Movie Database, it says 85. That's, yeah, I wonder if it came out. In theaters in 85, but it actually says 84 on the back of the VHS. Wow. So maybe they copy written. I don't know. I don't know how that works. That's weird. Yeah. Whatever. I don't know case, how anything works, guys. Whatever the case. This is the Mandela effect. Five out of ten Brodericks. I give it. <laughs> Five out of ten? <laughs> Broderick. Yeah, that's, still, that's probably higher I than give I thought it, you would. I no, give it, well, if, it, if there were a one to ten scale of... You know, zombie movies or, you know, uh, uh, exploitation style movies. I give it like a seven. Because yeah. I, I think it's really fun to watch. Yeah, I think Visually, good. it's fun. Seven fucking Matthew Broderick's is yeah. a good number, I think, for this. I think it could. I think it deserves an eight. I wouldn't even like to see it with a nine. But I think it could have easily gotten an eight, and I think that's my problem with the movie. If I had to say like one thing that is, 
a lot of the same points that Simon has brought up. I've watched in the I've watched this movie several times, and always in the middle, I feel like tired. Right. Yeah. Like, it's really it becomes boring. There's it not much, steam. much. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I think seven's a good place for it. I think five's a good place. For <laughs> <it>. <laughs> but no, yeah, I don't like how so early on in the movie they establish that these monsters can these zombies cannot be killed unless they're completely burned to death and even still their ash can or the smoke from them can reincarnate yeah. ions of other zombies <laughs> and what have you yeah. so ions of zombies ions. yeah even after being you know destroyed completely by a nuclear weapon that the rain again yeah. washes the zombie Infection Stock into footage. the ground. They just like repeated the same footage. Same just clip. Like here, we're gonna show the same. Show that at the end. We're gonna have the credits in yeah. red. Yeah. For blood. <laughs> hey, remember that second shot that we got the coffin with the guy with the different shoes? Yeah. We lost it. Oh shit. Uh, All right. Well, we're gonna run the same. Run the same. Repeat. repeat. Checks out. What about what, what what about the school popping out? Nope. Same thing. Reuse it. I like that shot. I think I want to see it twice. Yeah. So repetition works. You David. paid two thousand dollars for the puppet. That animatronics yeah. of that fucking chopped in half zombie and tar man are my two favorite things. No, I think I I'm yeah, I think that tar man, I'm glad you pointed that out because that guy might just be the most memorable thing. Yeah. Other than the girl who's nude the entire time. Tar man should have just had his own series afterwards. Right. Adventures of Tar, tar Man. man. Yeah. I would love that. I would watch that. Oh, man, that, that's a great idea. Okay, so we give our two cents about the movie. You can give us yours in the comment section. Please like, subscribe, click that bell icon, and fucking jump through every fire re-hoop you need to to show that um, you like what we do, hopefully, because we're going to keep doing it. Whether you like it or not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're psychos. Yeah. <laughs> I'm one of your hosts, Simon. I'm Ryan. I'm John. All right. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. We really appreciate it. Later. 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 Later.